Welcome to the Funko Illuminati. My name is Sean, and today is the San Diego Comic-Con Hall exclusive. Uh, now, I did one of these on my last video. This is the second uh, haul. Now, these came from many, many different places. Uh, just to give you a rough idea where everything came from, uh, this particular package right here came from Funkos with Chris, who was able to help me out, um, along with this one came from Hot Topic itself. This one came from a Canadian selling site called Pop Geek Collectibles. And this little guy down here came from uh, EB Games Canada. And I have another package behind all these that was already opened. Uh, there was a reason just because of the size of it. And that also came from EB Canada. So we've got quite a lot to look at here. So uh, I'm going to start with the biggest of the bunch because honestly it will give me more table space for later. Um, now obviously I'm not going to be able to put this on a spinny. But here we are with... Benjamin Grimm, look at that. That is huge. I mean, I can't even get can't even get that on the screen without a bit of glare. But this this pop, I'm really glad I got a hold of. Uh, it is it is a monster of a pop. In fact, I'm gonna move these boxes all the way over here so we can get some more table space. There we go. And there he is in all his monster glory. That that is one of the largest pops I own. I actually have four. I have. Both Stay Puffs, Tony the Tiger, and now this guy. Uh, guess I got enough for a table at least. Um, but yeah, this this cost quite a lot actually. I was surprised that I was able to get it at EB Games. I bought it on the night of and had it shipped here. And it came in really good shape, which is really odd for these larger ones. Because usually they get pretty dinged up or scuffed or just generally damaged. But I mean, it came in great shape. I'm trying to get the whole Marvel line as you can see here. Uh, right now, I got three of the six that are on here, and a lot of stuff is still on order. So, uh, that should be coming out in the next few days. Now, the next package I want to show is uh, Funkos with Chris was able to help me with this. Uh, long story short, I got up early to get this particular pop, and I couldn't get it. Uh, there was a huge there was a lineup at the Hot Topic. I was about 10th in line, maybe 15th, but... The third set of people that went in ahead of me, not a local couple, uh, came in and bought the entire stock out, and they have not restocked yet. And, uh, yeah, so that kind of sucked. But Funkos with Chris was able to help me get this, uh, so I'm really happy. He did a beautiful job wrapping it up, uh, which I'm really, really happy for. I uh, will be putting... So there we are. Look at that. This has been one of the more harder sought after pops that I've come across in this uh, for the for uh, San Diego Comic Con, which I'm I'm loving it. Like look look at that beautiful. Um, now I'm not gonna try to because everyone who knows me, I cannot say anime names to save my life. Uh, thanks to Sean Ryan, he actually got me turned on to watching My Hero Academia. So I'm halfway through season four right now. My thing when it comes to anime or any shows really is I wait for a season to be put out and then I binge watch it because I hate watching an episode and sitting there and waiting and wondering what's going to happen. Not a fan of cliffhangers. Uh, now, if you're wondering at the end of seasons when there's cliffhangers, it's unavoidable, but so glad I got this. Um, all right, so I'm just going to keep putting these off to the side here. Now, the next one I got, this, this I got on the night of. Uh, like a night owl, I waited, and I think I ordered this at 2 o'clock in the morning, which, if you can guess, it is a Hot Topic exclusive, and it's one of my favorite X-Men. Nightcrawler. Now, this this one I love. Uh, the, the blue, the, the clear blue plastic for the background is amazing for his, uh, I guess, his teleportation, um... The box is in great shape. Uh, it came in a sorter, which was nice. Because I've heard some Hot Topics in general don't really do that too well. Uh, some of them actually ship in bags, which I don't understand. It should just be one standardized shipping. Uh, but overall, beautiful box. Box is mint. Uh, love the artwork. It's a beautiful looking pop. And I'm willing to bet because of the clear blue plastic, it'll look beautiful under black lighting. So, that takes care of that. So this is one of the bigger ones here. So this I'm just gonna try to make some more room here on this table because it's gonna get a little cramped soon. All right. So and 
it does not want to slide across the leather covering of this desk. All right, so this is from a site called Pop Geek Collectibles. Uh, one of the local Canadian sellers turned me on to these guys. Now, I've ordered from them once before, and it took a while to get something in. In fact, this, when I got this package, I was not expecting it. Uh, luckily, it showed up, and my neighbor downstairs in my apartment building was nice enough to bring it to my door since he was at the mail, uh, at the mailbox when it came in. But let's see how these guys turned out. Now, I accidentally fault of my own bought an extra of something that i really didn't want to have an extra of so i'm going to be giving a doing a giveaway on my instagram for that in this box i need to treat very carefully because it's going to be reused tomorrow to ship out some more pops coming out uh for somebody else so let's see what we got here not um okay i mean uh it's not ideal i'll explain here's their shipping Kinda, kind of lackluster. I mean, let's let's be honest, guys. I, I appreciate the that to stop them from moving around, but I mean, some sorters would have been nice. Hell, if you gave me an option to even put them in um, soft covers, I would have done that. But let's see how they turned out. So I'm gonna move Nightcrawler and him over here. There we go. So let's. <laughs> oh wow I might have been a little ambitious trying to get all these uh, in one camera shot okay so let's grab one so here we are Reza Ghoul or Reza Ghoul or Reza uh, this was a Toy Source exclusive um, now I did order <laughs> for not for me for somebody else I ordered a Mewtwo and a Reza and if you guys check out my Instagram you'll see the condition they came in hell of a lot better i mean this is a hell of a lot better i mean this is beautiful uh no factory dings or anything windows nice and minty uh this is clearly done after the um oh boy the original bat the batman animated series they gone with the actual look of uh which i really think is great uh beautiful look nice i uh, kind of wish they would have done some you see here's the thing if you're going to do a comic and it's not going to be part of a series, put the first issue of the character. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. It'd be a cool background. But overall, I mean, it's in great shape, which I'm very grateful for, considering how the lack of uh, wrapping. Um, okay, so we got Cyborg Superman, another one I really want to get a hold of. Um, beautiful shape for the box. Uh... They also did an animated movie of this recently too. It was the um, it was a two parter, of course, Death and Return of Superman. Uh, if you guys get a chance, watch it. Really great. Uh, this particular character's uh, backstory is uh, it's unique. Um, I'm more than willing to talk about it with people if they want to. I'm not going to spoil it, especially if you want to watch the animated movie. But overall, the box is sweet, nice shape, good. Um, now these are all shared stickers, so I didn't get any con stickers. If anyone's going to wonder, but. Um, Kind of wish, yeah. Again, still same gripe as before. If you're gonna do a comic, maybe use the. This is the background, the first issue of the character when he came in. But overall, great box, great shape, pop geek so far. Um, I would say I'm I'm enjoying their how I got everything. So that's the trick. Let's see what the uh, okay. Oh man! All right. Well. This is for my collection. This is why I say put things in sorters because got a, this was on the corner and look, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking. And it was on this corner here, but there we are, Marty McFly, Back to the Future. I was kind of hoping this wasn't going to be. Oh well. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> aside from that, uh, this this is this is really good. I um, I've. Love Back to the Future. I have all the movie posters, uh, most of the pops, except for the more expensive ones. I'm glad I got this. Uh, nice. It's Marty holding his watch, which is reminiscent of the first movie poster, if, you, if anyone's ever seen it, of course. Uh, but, yeah, I'm glad I got this. So, and that was also in my last video. That second one I have, that went to a collector that was looking for because I knew I had two coming in. Now, <laughs> everyone's favorite version of Deadpool. <laughs> the Merc without the mouth. Um, so, this 
this pop, I want it. Uh, I was kind of on the fence about it, and uh, yeah, so here we are. <laughs> I got, two, I got, I got, um, I got this one. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of uh, speechless, and I'll explain because I accidentally ordered two. So, um, when this video gets released, uh, possibly that day or the next day, I'm going to be doing an Instagram giveaway for one of these for free. So, uh, basically. I'll put up some rules, follow them, and I'll, I'm not going to run it forever. I think two weeks is enough. And then if anybody, and then whoever the winner is, they'll get themselves a Wade, Wade, Wade Wilson Weapon X Merc Without a Mouth from the uh, movie Wolverine. Not one, of, uh, not one of the best movies, I will say, but, you know, it's not one of the worst either. So there's my second one I accidentally ordered. So, uh, let's see if we can get these all into frame. So, I'm gonna... No, I don't think that's gonna happen. Not even on the best of days. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stack all these here just for now, and then we'll work on that later. Um, so, those those were pretty well it. I mean, I, I got everything I wanted. I was able to help a few other people in the process, and I've been able to help a few more people. Uh, now, the last one I have here is from EB Games. Now... I'm not a fan of their shipping, and I'm just going to place this right here for now so I can move this over here. Preferably without losing everything. Okay. And we're just going to stack this here. We don't need to see two Wade Wilsons now, do we? All right. Sorry about this. I just want to make sure you guys can see all this stuff, too. Uh, all right. So, last box. Now, this is from EB Canada. This is why I kind of cringe ordering from them. If you order one pop from EB Canada, you get it in a box like this. Now, I mentioned this in one of my videos. I want to show you guys these boxes. So... Uh, I'm trying to open it right now. Okay, so this might take a little more work because the sides are a little dinged. All right. And then... that so this is what i'm talking about for eb games air bladder which clearly is dead the pop itself which we'll look at in just a second a return slip and then a bunch of these kind of a waste really i mean they could and the boxes are a pain in the butt to deal with to put away but here we go the last one from the Batman and Robin movie, Mr. Freeze, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. One of the uh, more interesting Batman movies, we'll say the least. Uh, very ice punny. But there we are. Clear with sparkles. I like this one. Um, it was kind of one I was on the fence about. And I was ordering one for myself. And then I ended up ordering another one for somebody else. So I'm kind of glad I got it. Beautiful shape. Uh, but overall... That is my San Diego Comic-Con haul. Um, let's move that camera just up a little. There we go. So, as you guys can see, I got the zombie uh, Ben Grimm thing. Got Ra's al Ghul. Uh, I'm not going to say his name again because I keep butchering it every time and I'm not going to do that. Mr. Freeze, Nightcrawler, Wade Wilson, which I have two of. And remember, I'll be doing an Instagram giveaway. So, um, please keep, keep up for that. I'll either do it tonight or tomorrow. It's just a question of when I get time. Uh, then I got Cyborg Superman and Marty McFly. Uh, so overall, I'm pretty impressed with all the shipping. I mean, thank thank you for Funkos with Chris for helping me get this. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to his channel and Instagram. If you guys get a chance, check out his page. He's a fellow Canadian Funko content creator. Uh, great guy. Very friendly. Very personal. I think uh, you'll love his stuff. Uh, I like it. Um... I mean, my only complaint out of everything was is that I like Pop Geek. The prices were reasonable. Their shipping was excellent, and they very fast. Which, uh, especially with I guess you call like a not a like a second tier seller because they're obviously not affiliated with um, 
Toys R Us or any other company. They did a beautiful job getting everything over to me. But next time, guys, I would be a little more... Um, I would definitely do more for the packing. Uh, overall, I'm, I think they're great. I love their site. I will leave a link there as well. Uh, check them out when you get a chance. And again, I want to say thank you for everyone for watching. If you like what you see, like, subscribe means the world to me. And remember, be good to each other. All right. Bye now.